Unveiling the untold story, the fascinating history of dinosaurs from their origins to extinction. The prehistoric world of dinosaurs. In the prehistoric world, dinosaurs reigned supreme. These magnificent creatures captivate our imagination and curiosity as we wonder what life was like during their time. Exploring the prehistoric world of dinosaurs allows us to delve into the mysteries of their existence, their behavior, and their ultimate demise. One of the most fascinating aspects of the prehistoric world is the diversity of dinosaurs that once roamed the Earth. From the towering giants like the Tyrannosaurus rex to the swift and agile velociraptors, there were dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes. As we dive deeper into the prehistoric world of dinosaurs, new discoveries and theories continue to emerge. Advances in technology and scientific techniques have enabled researchers to uncover more clues about these ancient creatures than ever before. From the study of DNA extracted from fossils to the use of computer simulations to recreate their appearance and movements. So join us on this journey as we delve into the prehistoric world of dinosaurs. Chapter 1 The Dawn of Dinosaurs Origins and Early Evolution The story of the dinosaurs begins. More than 230 million years ago during the Triassic period, the Earth was a vastly different place. With a single supercontinent known as Pangaea and a climate that was generally hot and dry. It was in this ancient world that the first dinosaurs would emerge and eventually dominate the landscape. The origins of dinosaurs can be traced back to a group of reptiles known as archosaurs, which also included crocodiles and birds. These archosaurs were well adapted to the terrestrial environment and had already been evolving for millions of years before the dinosaurs appeared. The first dinosaurs were small bipedal creatures that walked on two legs. They were not the massive, fearsome creatures that we often imagine today. Instead, they were more similar to modern-day birds in terms of size and behavior. Their small size allowed them to be agile and well-suited for a variety of habitats. One of the most significant evolutionary developments of the early dinosaurs was the development of the hip structure. Dinosaurs had a unique hip structure that allowed their legs to be positioned directly beneath their bodies, rather than splayed out to the sides like other reptiles. This adaptation provided them with a more efficient gait and allowed them to be faster and more agile. As the Triassic period progressed, dinosaurs began to diversify and evolve into different forms. Some dinosaurs evolved to become larger and more herbivorous, while others became carnivorous predators. This diversification allowed them to exploit different ecological niches and become the dominant land animals of their time. The rise of the dinosaurs was not without competition, however. Other reptiles, such as the crocodiles and the early mammal-like reptiles, also thrived during this period. They coexisted with the dinosaurs and played important roles in the ecosystem. The end of the Triassic period brought about significant changes to the Earth's environment, massive volcanic eruptions, and climate fluctuations led to a mass extinction event known as the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. This event wiped out many of the non-dinosaur reptiles, allowing the dinosaurs to further dominate the land. The extinction event marked the beginning of the Jurassic period, a time when dinosaurs truly began to flourish. They continued to diversify and evolve into an astonishing array of forms. From the massive sauropods, to the agile theropods. The Jurassic period is often referred to as the age of the dinosaurs due to the prominence and diversity of these incredible creatures. Chapter 2 The Age of Giants Dinosaurs Dominance and Diverse Species This era, known as the Mesozoic Era, 
witnessed the rise and dominance of these magnificent creatures. With their immense size, fearsome strength and incredible diversity, dinosaurs ruled the land, air and seas. During this time, the Earth's continents were still connected as one massive landmass known as Pangaea. The climate was warm and tropical, providing the perfect conditions for the proliferation of life. It was in this lush environment that the dinosaurs evolved and diversified into a multitude of species. The dinosaurs were divided into two major groups based on their hip structure, the Saurischia and the Ornithischia. The Saurischia, characterized by a lizard-like hip structure, included the well-known carnivorous dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. These predators were apex predators, ruling the land with their sharp teeth, powerful jaws and incredible speed. On the other hand, the Ornithischia, characterized by a bird-like hip structure, were mainly herbivorous dinosaurs. They included the famous Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and Ankylosaurus. These herbivores roamed the earth in vast herds, using their unique adaptations like horns, plates and clubs to defend against their predators. They ranged in size from the tiny Compsognathus, no larger than a chicken, to the colossal Argentinosaurus, which measured up to 100 feet in length and weighed around 100 tons. In addition to the land-dwelling dinosaurs, the Mesozoic era also saw the emergence of flying reptiles called pterosaurs. These winged creatures, such as Pteranodon and Quetzalcoatlus, soared through the skies, utilizing their large wingspans to catch prey. The oceans, too, teemed with dinosaur life. Marine reptiles like the ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs ruled the seas while the Mosasaurs dominated the coastlines. These marine giants displayed a remarkable range of adaptations to aquatic life, with streamlined bodies, powerful tails and flippers, enabling them to hunt and survive in the water. The age of giants dinosaurs was a time of unparalleled dominance and diversity. These incredible creatures roamed the earth for millions of years, shaping the ecosystems they inhabited. However, their reign eventually came to an end due to a catastrophic event, possibly a massive asteroid impact leading to their extinction. Today, the legacy of the dinosaurs lives on in the form of fossils, which provide us with valuable insights into their existence and evolution. Chapter 3 The Rise of Tyrants, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and other fierce predators. Among these mighty hunters, the Tyrannosaurus Rex stood as the undisputed ruler of the land. With its massive size, powerful jaws, and sharp teeth, it was a true symbol of terror and dominance. The Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-rex for short, was a theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 66 million years ago. It was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs reaching lengths of up to 40 feet and weighing an astonishing 7 to 8 tons. Its massive head alone measured around 5 feet in length, housing rows of long, serrated teeth that could easily tear through flesh and bone. The T-rex was a formidable predator. But it wasn't the only tyrant ruling the prehistoric world. Other fierce predators like the Spinosaurus, Jegonotosaurus and Allosaurus also roamed the land, each with its unique set of adaptations and hunting techniques. The Spinosaurus, known for its iconic sail-like structure on its back, was the largest carnivorous dinosaur to ever exist. It lived during the Cretaceous period and is believed to have been even bigger than the T-Rex, reaching lengths of up to 50 feet. 
Its long, slender snout and conical teeth were well suited for catching fish, indicating that it may have been a semi-aquatic predator. The Giganotosaurus, on the other hand, was a massive dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period in what is now South America. It was slightly larger than the T-Rex measuring around 43 feet in length and weighing up to 8 tons. With its sharp blade-like teeth, the Giganotosaurus was a fearsome hunter, capable of taking down large herbivorous dinosaurs with ease. The Allosaurus, a Jurassic predator, was one of the earliest and most successful theropod dinosaurs. It reached lengths of up to 39 feet and had a distinctive skull with sharp teeth. The Allosaurus was an apex predator preying on large herbivores like the Stegosaurus and Diplodocus. These tyrants of the prehistoric world were not just fearsome predators. They were also key players in the delicate balance of nature. As apex predators, they controlled the population of herbivorous dinosaurs, ensuring that ecosystems remained stable and diverse. As continents shifted and climates fluctuated, new opportunities arose for these apex predators to dominate. Their size, strength and hunting skills allowed them to adapt and thrive in a world teeming with other formidable creatures. However, their reign as the ultimate predators would eventually come to an end. The exact reasons for their extinction remain a subject of scientific debate, but theories suggest that a combination of climate change, competition and the impact of a catastrophic event, like an asteroid impact, led to their downfall. Despite their eventual demise, the legacy of these prehistoric tyrants continues to captivate our imagination. Their fierce nature and incredible adaptations serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity and power that once roamed the Earth. Wings in the sky evolution of flying dinosaurs. Flying dinosaurs, also known as pterosaurs, were a remarkable group of creatures that evolved alongside their land-dwelling counterparts. They were the first vertebrates to achieve powered flight and their unique adaptations allowed them to soar through the ancient skies with grace and agility. The evolution of flight in dinosaurs is a fascinating story that began in the late Triassic period around 230 million years ago. During this time the first pterosaurs appeared, displaying a range of adaptations that allowed them to take to the air. These early pterosaurs were small and had long, slender bodies with elongated fingers supporting a thin membrane of skin forming the framework for their wings. food. But how did these creatures achieve flight? The answer lies in their unique adaptations. Pterosaurs had lightweight skeletons with hollow bones similar to modern birds. This reduced their overall weight, making it easier for them to take off and stay airborne. Additionally, their wings were supported by an elongated fourth finger, which provided the necessary structure for flight. Another crucial adaptation was the presence of a large brain and well-developed eyes. Pterosaurs had excellent vision 
allowing them to navigate through the skies and spot their prey or potential mates. They were also equipped with sharp curved beaks and teeth, indicating a diverse diet that included fish, insects, and even small vertebrates. As pterosaurs continued to evolve, they developed various flight strategies to suit their lifestyles. Some, like the Pteranodon, were soaring gliders, taking advantage of air currents to cover long distances with minimal effort. Others, such as the Rampharynchus, were agile hunters, using their wings to maneuver and snatch prey from the water's surface. The extinction of the dinosaurs, including the pterosaurs, marked the end of an era. However, their legacy lives on in the form of modern-day birds, which are considered the closest living relatives of these ancient flying creatures. The evolution of flight in dinosaurs was a groundbreaking development in the history of life on Earth, forever changing the way we perceive these incredible creatures. In conclusion, the evolution of flying dinosaurs, or pterosaurs, was a remarkable journey that spanned millions of years. From their humble beginnings as small gliders, they evolved into a diverse group of creatures capable of soaring through the ancient skies. Their unique adaptations, such as lightweight skeletons, elongated fingers and keen senses, allowed them to conquer the air and thrive in a world dominated by their land-dwelling relatives. The story of flying dinosaurs is a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on our planet. Chapter 5 The Great Extinction – What Led to the Demise of Dinosaurs as scientists delved deeper into the mystery of the dinosaurs' demise, they discovered a multitude of factors that likely contributed to their extinction. One of the most widely accepted theories is the impact of a massive asteroid or comet that collided with Earth, causing catastrophic consequences. The impact hypothesis gained significant traction when the Chicxulub crater was discovered in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. This crater, estimated to be about 66 million years old, is approximately 180 kilometers in diameter. It is believed to be the scar left by the colossal impact that occurred around the time of the dinosaur extinction. The impact would have unleashed an immense amount of energy, resulting in a series of devastating events. The initial impact would have caused widespread wildfires, releasing vast amounts of smoke and soot into the atmosphere. This would have darkened the skies, reducing sunlight, and interrupting the photosynthesis process that plants rely on for survival. The impact also triggered seismic activity, leading to earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. The resulting release of gases and ash into the atmosphere would have further contributed to the darkening of the skies, as well as causing a drop in global temperatures. All of this hard environmental conditions made it too impossible for dinosaurs to exist. And this was the end.